Jamaica's Brianna Liston has been on a tear since the beginning of the 2024 track and field collegiate season. So, as she punches her ticket to the NCAA championship finals, do you think, well, can she win the NCAA championship? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, are you ready? Yeah, good to go. Well, Brianna Liston is pretty much the talk of the Jamaican track and field world. She has been on a tear, punching her ticket quite easily with a in the women's 100 meters at the NCAA first round East Coast session with a win of 10.99 seconds and making that look easy in the 100 meters. She now cruises through to the NCAA championships later on this season. Can she win the 100 meters? What do you think? Liston and Davies got out well in the center of the track, trying to get to that top end speed. Webster, or Walker rather, running a good race. Up the middle is Liston, she'll pull away. And Liston wins it, Davies. It looked like it was awfully close for a second. Liston goes under 11, 10.99 into legal win. Davies comes in second, and Shanice Walker 11. Liston also looked quite comfortable in the first round of this event, uh, posting the third fastest time, a time of 11.03, to win her heat. Brianna Liston out extremely well. And as she moves into her full pace, Liston is pulled away from the field. And Liston wins it going away, 11.05 unofficially. Putting up a huge time, adjusted down to 11.03, Bertrand. Brian Liston also ran the leadoff leg for LSU's ticket-punching 4x100-meter relay team. The team posted a time of 42.75 seconds. Again, the third fastest time going into the NCAA championships. Of course, as I stated, it was Liston who ran the opening leg. LSU got out cleanly. The key here is that first exchange. Exchanges are extremely important, but let's look at how LSU absolutely destroyed. Carolina with it first. Here's LSU on the outside. It's going to be close, everybody. God bless. Racing forward in South Carolina. We'll take the first section. Now, Brianna Liston did not look as strong in the 200 meters. She posted the 10th fastest time going in and qualifying, however, a time of 22.82 seconds. She did, however, punch her ticket to the NCAA championships. Paige, Jackson, and Liston all got out cleanly, but it's Jackson who's off to the best start. Oh my God, Jackson looks amazing coming around this turn right now. She might be thinking, hey, I'll let y'all get the best of me in the 100 a little bit, but I'm about to absolutely destroy y'all right now. And here comes Denisha Page running neck and neck. Team of God bless who's had a great day so far, running well, but it will be Kayla Jackson at the line, 22-42. So, can she win the NCAA Women's 100 Meter Finals in a few weeks? Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Let's break this down. First up, the positives. Liston has been on a tear. She's the indoor 60 meter champion, NCAA. Uh, she is the outdoor SEC champion. Now, some would argue that had Jasha Sears not gotten injured, she would have won. But like I've said in many videos, history is just going to say Brianna Liston won. In that race, she won a personal best, ran a personal best, however, of 10.91. That's the fastest time she's posted so far for the 2024 20, season, the 100 meters. Now, in this latest round of 100 meters, she posted 10.99 and looked as if she was jogging. She looked un unimaginably easy. I know some of you don't like when I say that, but honestly, she was not running hard. Same thing in the semifinals when she ran the 11 0 not the semifinals, but the first round, the first uh, prelims when she ran that 11 0 3. Go back and look. She was unimaginably easy. She beat everyone by a mile. 
However, there are two other young ladies who posted fastest, faster times going in to the NCAA Championship Finals. There is, there is Mackenzie Long who posted the fastest time, a time of 10.92. And the Frond, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, who posted the second fastest time of 10.94. Now, we know that Brianna Liston's PB so far, which she ran uh, at the SEC, it, over the distance of 100 meters is 10.91. 10.92 and 10.91 are unimaginably close. So, I am not going to say, yes, unequivocally, she's going to win. Just based on those numbers. However... The way I saw her execute that 10.99, I honestly think, like I'm not joking, I think she can run a sub 10.90. I've said this earlier this year that I think she's going to run somewhere in the 10.80, 10.85. I think I think she can even run a 10.8, sub 10.80 given the right circumstances. So I'm thinking she could have the advantage going in to the NCAA finals in the 100 meters should she get through to that the second to last round into the finals simply because of two simple things one she's been on a tear she's been winning and sometimes when you're winning you're just winning you're in the zone she's been winning even when we thought she wouldn't have won she won two 10.91 I believe she will be able to lower that time if she's pressed by Mackenzie Long once she's under pressure she's going to run faster this can't, we cannot dismiss Mackenzie Long and someone like Kalia Jackson and the front. These are all very talented, not to mention the athletes coming from the West Coast Conference. So the fact of the matter is, I want to believe that she should be able to win, but I don't believe this is going to be an easy win for her. She has to run a new PB to win. This is my personal opinion. So can she win the 100 meters? Yes, unequivocally. Is it going to be an easy sweep? No, I do not think so. I believe there are three other young ladies, two of whom I have already mentioned, who are going to press her to the line. And I think it's going to be close. It's not going to be a blowout. I do believe that she is capable of setting a new PB, something akin to a 10.85. If she's pressed, I believe we'll be able to see that happen. Now, as for the 200 meters, She's not been doing that well in the 200 meters. And we're going to talk about that in a whole other video. But my opinion at this point is that it seems, looking at the numbers, that she could win. Can I say it's going to be a blowout? I don't. But this, of course, is my two cents. What do you think? Based on what you've seen so far from Brianna Liston, do you think she has a lock on the women's 100 meter titles at the NCAA Championships for 2024? Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, no stream bell, hit the like button. Remember you, your royals, your kings and queens. Bless up, 